Okay, this is another um, important or common type of phase diagram which usually found for binary alloys. So it is known as binary eutectic systems. So in this case, eutectic. Eutectic means easily melted. Okay, in these eutectic systems, there are three single phase found in the diagram, which is the first one is alpha, beta, and the liquid. And this alpha region and the beta region, they are solid solutions. And the liquid is just liquid. Okay? And the alpha phase here is a solid solution which is rich in copper. So here is 100% copper. And here is 100% silver. And the beta phase here is a solid solution which is rich in silver. Okay, so this alpha and beta region can also be considered as um, pure copper and pure silver region. The solubility limit for the alpha phase here actually corresponds to the boundary line, this A, B, and C. Okay? And as the temperature increases, you can see that uh, at this, this axis here, this is for temperature. Okay? As the temperature increases, the solubility will also increase to the solubility of this um, silver in copper will also increase to this maximum um, point which is at point at point B uh, in which it can only accommodate to up to 8.0 weight percent of silver at this temperature here 779 degree Celsius and the solubility will actually decreases back to zero here at the melting temperature of copper. Okay, and it also um, behaves the same for this silver phase region. At temperatures below this 779 degree Celsius, Okay, the solid solubility limit line, this one, separating this alpha and the alpha plus beta phase region is known as the solvus line. And the boundary AB, this one, between this alpha region and the alpha plus liquid region is known as the solidus line. And this also same goes with the silver. We also have this solidus line and the uh, solvus line. Okay, so for this beta phase or the silver, the maximum the maximum solubility of copper, this one, the maximum solubility of copper in silver is actually uh, found at this point, point G, in which the percentages of copper in silver is only 8.8 weight percent. So at this point, we have 8.8 weight percent of copper and 91.2 weight percent of AG. And it also occurs at this point at this line with the same temperature 779 degree Celsius now you can see that this line is horizontal B E G so this is parallel to the composition axis and extends between this maximum solubility positions can also be considered a solidus line so this B E G is a solidus line in which it represents the lowest temperature at which a liquid phase may exist for any copper-silver alloy 
which is at equilibrium. Okay, so in this system, uh, you can see that there are three two phase regions found for this copper and silver system, which is the, the first one is alpha plus liquid, the second one is beta plus liquid, and the third one is alpha plus beta. And all the compositions and relative amounts for the phases can be determined using the previous method that you have learned, which is the tie line and lever rule. Okay, um, if you are asked to find the composition of alpha or beta or the phases inside this two phase region. Okay, another thing that I would like to stress um, on this eutectic system is take a look at this point here, the A point. So this is the, like I mentioned before, the melting point of copper which is 100% copper in liquid. Now, as we slowly added silver into this uh, liquid, which only contains the copper, as we slowly added the silver, you can see that the temperature will uh, sort of like reduce. It, it will definitely decrease along this liquidus line which is line AE. And thus, we can say that the melting temperature of copper is or can be lowered by the addition of the silver. And the same also goes for silver, in which this is the melting temperature of silver. And by adding copper to this uh, silver, we can see that it will reduce the melting temperature along this liquidus line. This liquidus line, these two liquidus line, uh, AE and FE, will eventually meet at this point E, okay, which is designated by the composition CE and temperature TE, which is the 779 degree Celsius. And the values for these two parameters are 71.9 weight percent of silver and 779 degrees Celsius for the temperature. Okay, for the CE is 71.9, for the TE is 779 degrees Celsius. So this horizontal line, also known as the isotherm, um, which represented by the line B, E, G, also passes the point E. E actually stands for eutectic. Okay. An important reaction, what we call as eutectic reaction, occurs for this alloy at composition CE and temperature TE. Okay, as it changes temperature, passing through this TE temperature, okay, so upon cooling, this is when the liquid is transformed into solid upon cooling and the solid is transformed into liquid upon heating. So here, upon cooling, a liquid phase, which is at this point, CE, okay, is transformed into the two solid phase, alpha and beta, this point here okay at this point and this point the previous the maximum solubility point that I showed you just now and the opposite reaction occurs upon heating in which these two solid will be transformed into liquid when it crosses the TE temperature and this is what we call as eutectic reaction, which means that the reaction is easily melted from liquid to solid. Thus, for this copper-silver system, the eutectic reaction actually can be written as uh, this elaborate 
equation or maybe um, reaction liquid at 71.9 weight percent of silver upon cooling will be transformed into solid which is uh, solid alpha which contains <coughs> 8 weight percent of silver and solid beta which contains 91.2 weight percent of silver and upon heating these two phases will be transformed into liquid at 71.9 weight percent of silver so it's just a matter of crossing this temperature te and when it crosses this temperature either cooling <coughs> go downwards <coughs> or heating go upwards it will obey this eutectic reaction at 500 degrees celsius what is the maximum solubility of copper in silver okay let's look at 500 degrees celsius this is 500 degrees celsius here so you need to identify the maximum solubility of copper in silver all right let's see how are we going to solve this at 500 degrees celsius so 500 is here all right so all you have to do is draw a tie line oh the line is not so straight i'm so bad at this okay so what is the maximum solubility of copper in ag so we have to look at this point here so what is this point so you just read downward it's probably about um this is this should be 90 and this should be 95 and this is probably 98 probably the answer for a is two percent two weight percent and for b maximum solubility of silver in copper so you need to find um, the solubility of this silver into uh, in this copper so you are reading at this point and you just go downward it's probably uh, this is smaller than this and probably 1.5 weight percent so the answer for b is 1.5 weight percent of silver in copper okay